Hello again. I'm back. Plants vs. Zombies time. You know what it is. So last time, I have gotten two. Two achievements. Oh, hey. Hey, you're not, you're... I don't, I don't remember you being in Plants vs. Zombies. Anyway. Oh, hey. There's diamonds. There's a gooey stuff. These are just Easter eggs of PopCap's other games, isn't it? Yes, it is. I am just discovering this right now. This is awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> we made it to China. Alright. Here we go, everybody. Evening metal. These... Zombies just won't add up, will they? Is that add up? <laughs> Those zombies just won't let up, will they? You'll notice the fighting zombies at night is different than a day. For one, you won't get any of the sun falling from the sky. You still can't get the sun from sunflowers, though. Any. And lucky for you, you got yourself some puff shrooms. Plant as many of those as you can and you'll be A-O good. I love Crazy Dave. <laughs> uh, what is that peeking in there? Ew. Oh no. It's a newspaper zombie. I really don't like newspaper zombies. Like, they are the worst. Absolute worst. Let's start off simple. So with these gravestones right here, basically you are going to be, well, you're gonna be dealing with a lot of zombies, let's just say. All right, let's wait it out. See which one comes first. Ah, I love the music to this game. It's so good. I really, really like the Thanks. nighttime sections in this game. I don't know what it is, but their aesthetic is really, really interesting to me. Come on, make daddy proud. Don't call me daddy, that's really creepy actually. So I'm going to use the potato mines, hopefully, to get rid of the newspaper zombies. They're going to be a pain to deal with, so I'm going to have to take my chances and just make them explode. So hopefully that'll be the case. Hopefully this will be pretty easy to get through as well. Uh, I'm going to hypnotize the lead dancer, since that's an achievement and stuff, so yeah. Thankfully there's no cone heads or bucket heads yet. There is another, like, I, I believe that there's a lot more zombie types in this section. There's gonna be a lot of zombie types in this section that is going to be really, really annoying. And they just get more and more annoying as the game goes on and stuff. How are you guys doing today? Hope everything's doing well. I really, really love the plant designs. Okay, so there's money. There's money in this game. Look at that. I got a silver coin. It's nice. Hopefully this potato mine can get rid of the zombie right here. Uh, back in the day, I used to climb a lot of trees and stuff. I, I always had a fondness for plants and stuff. Yeah. Once you get rid of their newspapers, they are gonna basically get all aggressive and it's only a matter of time before the wave. And I 
I'm dreading it. Thankfully, I'm getting more range with the pea shooters and stuff. I like how the zombies just dangled their arms all the way down. Classic zombie trope right there. I think we're gonna steamroll this first one, but it will get hard. Trust me. Don't quote me on that. So far, so good. Na, 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 na. Here's my favorite part of the song. Yeah. I did it. I really like the gravestone designs too. They're very simple, yet really give you a sense of foreboding throughout the whole entire match and stuff. Oh yeah. Now we can collect coins in this game. Give small sun at first and normal sun later. This is the sun shroom. We're gonna be using these guys from now on. Hey, you've collected 260 coins so far. When you collect 750, you'll, I'll sell you something real neato. Thanks, Crazy Dave. He might scam me, but I'm going to take up in his offer. Okay, so we're going to have some cone heads and bucket heads this time around. This is going to be pretty stressful. So what the sun dudes do, like the description says, they basically start off with smaller sun, and then they grow and grow into biggins. Big, big giant mushrooms that give you a heck of a lot of sun. 75 sun. Yeah. To be more specific that way, I guess. Did you know that Zack Scott has over 1,000 videos on Plants vs. Zombies 2? That is insane. How much did he... How much time did he spend in that game? I want to know. It's been so long since I've heard of and or talked about Zack Scott. Why did he pop into my processor? I don't understand. Uh, Zack Scott actually introduced me to Plants vs. Zombies. It was a blast. Have you ever heard of Zack Scott games? He's pretty infamous. He's pretty infamous on YouTube. He's basically the Plants vs. Zombies guy. Uh, he got my start, uh, I believe I've mentioned before. And he's just really cool. Really cool. Made a, made a lot of... Made... In collaboration, he made a lot of weird animations with James Farr, an animator of his and stuff. Personally, it's uh, very weird, but... Eh. Just don't pay attention to the clickbait and the other stuff. Yeah, as you can tell, the Puff Shrooms are the weakest projectile users in the game. Yeah, they're pretty much the weakest. It takes a while for them to get down and stuff. God, I could, I'm just chilling and vibing to the music right now. So, uh... Plants vs. Zombies 2. I kind of have mixed feelings on Plants vs. Zombies 2. I played it on my phone, and I gotta say, EA really did mess a lot of things up and stuff. Like, 
Uh, plants versus zombies, just, I don't know. It kind of changed with when EA came around and stuff. It, it changed for the worse because of the whole microtransactions and PVZ2 and stuff, but... Uh, that's not the only thing that I'm just upset by. There's like plenty of other stuff that I was upset by. Like the art style for PVZ2 is great. But the, uh, the overall grind is just really hard. Like, the game is just insanely hard, and I know why it's hard. It's because they wanted to grind people in order to pay money, you know? They, they wanted to make the game hard just because money, where mobile games are supposed to be hard, because you, you need to grind them out for extra coins and in-game purchases and stuff like the playback loop and stuff. So that's what really like kind of killed off my interest in PvZ2. Didn't even complete the game. I stopped at the last world and I just had about enough of it, you know. Very sad, I know. But what can you do? It's EA, so. At least the Dead Space remake's pretty good. My favorite mushroom in this game is probably the puff shroom. I would say, probably. You'll know what the puff uh, shroom looks like. Gonna have to use my cherry bomb for this one because I'm in a load of trouble right now. Oh man, I think we're gonna lose our thing. This is good. Oh man. Oh no, I think we're gonna lose the lawnmowers thing. Oh well. We lost two lawnmowers, that's not good. Like, times like these are stressful, because you don't know what's going to happen. First rule of Plants vs. Zombies. We do not talk about Plants vs. Zombies. Whoever came up with that rule is a gosh darn jerk. There we go. 
back on track, back on track. I got scared for a moment. isn't good. This is not good. Not good, not good, not good. Okay. 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 This is not good. We're okay. So here's the puff shroom. Or the fume shroom. <laughs> I could have sworn that it's the puff shroom. I may have got my names mixed up. Alright, so the fume shroom is basically, it shoots the fumes that passes through screen doors. Oh no. I know where this is going. Yep. Look at that. A screen door zombie. Hate these guys. Absolutely hate these guys with a burning passion right there, man. Look at that. $5,000? I didn't think that I would get that much, to be honest. Hopefully I can get more money and stuff. Uh, after I play the main story and finish up the Let's Play, I'm definitely going to replay this game over and over again, man. It's, it's just that good. Alright. Fume shrooms in the front lines, baby. Hopefully. I really, really like the simplicity of the gameplay. It really... It, it just really feels so simple, yet complex. And I really like how every single plant in this game basically does a different thing. Some of them are copies, but most of them do a different thing, and that's a really, really good thing. There's a little fume shrooms right there, ain't he lovely? Big ball of joy. Also, look at the range. Screen door zombies suck. I wonder what's the most annoying zombie in this game. There's a lot, keep in mind. There's a lot of annoying zombies and stuff. It's only a matter of time before I get a grave buster. Then we'll do some real damage. I think we're... I think we got pretty much covered. Uh, with the fume shrooms, you can definitely get an advantage of what you're gonna do and whatnot, and honestly, it's the best of both worlds, you know? Plus, they pack a lot of punch. Like, they, look at that beautiful.
I'm gonna put a chomper there just for the <sighs> the jokes. Because I love chomper with all of my heart. Hey, you got a gold coin. That never happened before. That's cool. Make sure to save your money in this game. Save your money, kids. I like how the flag zombie's sticking out his tongue. That's a nice detail. Uh, from what I can remember in my past, I would definitely say that I spend hours, if not days, on Plants vs. Zombies 2. I mentioned the grinding before. Well, it works for me as a little bot, let's just say. Thank you, EA, for corrupting my mind. Yay, Grave Buster, baby! Funnily enough, this guy actually costs 75 sun in this game, but in the sequel, he doesn't really cost all too much, out of, unless he did cost 75 sun. It's been a long time since I played that sequel and stuff. Plant it on a grave to remove it. Yeah, time to bust some graves, I would say. Busting makes me feel good, anyways. Hey, you want to buy an extra seats lot? It'll cost you $750, but you'll be able to choose seven seats per level instead of six. How's that sound? Uh... I mean, I have a lot of money already. Nah, we're gonna just stick to six. Bummer, dude. Greedy, crazy Dave trying to steal my money. All right, let's do it. This is gonna be pretty hard. Mainly because, well, there's a pogo zombie and pretty much all the zombies in the first world are gonna arrive now, so. <laughs> hey, look at that, expired. I wonder who expired. Man, I really like zombies, man. Thank this game for igniting my love for the undead fascinating concepts and just the design of zombies are just really great. Uh, I think my favorite gravestone is probably the one with the bat. I like bats. Fume shroom, frickin' tear them apart. You wanna see what a grave buster can do? Watch. That. Man, they looked really scary in this game. Like, in the sequel, they're just a squiggly, like, thorn trap. And in, in in this game, they have Christmas lights. Ah, that's funny. Look at that Christmas lights. Or are are those thorns? I I can't tell. Dun, dun. Pogo zombie. I really don't like the Pogo zombie, man. So I just tricked them. Always trick the Pogo zombies with a zero sun plant. That's what I do. Especially in the nighttime levels and stuff. This 
this game is just oozing with charm, man. I said it before, but I'll say it again. It's oozing with charm. This is the most charming game ever. It's great. Come on, you guys. Come on. Kill them. Kill the zombies. They'll die again. And that is all the graves. Successfully grave busted. Is there something strange? On on your neighborhood. Just call a grave buster. Get rid of that gravestone. Unless it's a decoration. We wouldn't want a decoration. Oh man, that didn't count. Oh no, that's not good. Alright, we're good. We're good. Oh man. <clears throat> Wait, no. It's not 5,000, it's 900. It's 900. Sorry guys, that was dumb of me. It wasn't 5,000. Why did I think that it was 5,000 coins? <laughs> I'm dumb. Getting a lot of coins. There's the screen door zombie. Honestly, the mere thought of zombies crawling around at night to eat your brains while you're sleeping is really, really dark, I would say. just about basically conquering the nighttime sections at this point. I checked back with the achievements and stuff and I I gotta complete a nighttime level without planting any mushrooms. I should have done that at the start. My bad. Hey, who knows? Maybe maybe we can work it out. Maybe we can I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Yeah, I, I think we could work it out. I think, I hope. Okay, I'm gonna try my best to make sure to not plant any mushrooms the next time, unless the next one's gonna be all foggy. Or that only happens in the nighttime sections. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna win that achievement, but let's let's just wait and see. Oh yeah, also you need to have mushrooms in the daytime uh, levels too, but you need a coffee bean in order to wake them up and stuff. Honestly, it's pretty stupid, and I'm glad that PVZ2 was able to just let them go in the daytime. Uh, without the need of a coffee bean, but it's it's gonna be difficult, I say. All right, here we go. So no mushrooms for the next one. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but let's do it. Keeps track of all plants and zombies you encounter. Okay, so the Suburban Almanac is basically what it... It's an almanac for both plants and zombies. Yeah, I love this thing. It's like the Piccolopedia in Pikmin. <laughs> it's great. 
Ever play a game called Wag a Zombie? It's just like hunting squirrels. You know, those very little rodents that dig holes in your lawn. Yeah, just like that, but instead of squirrels, it's zombies. And instead of a shovel, it's a mallet. And instead of me, it's you. Ah. Uh, thank you, Crazy Dave. So this is a mini game. There's a lot of mini games in this game. And they're all so charming in their own way, man. I'm gonna save up the sun. So far, so good. So far, so good. Far, this is pretty easy. All right. Oh boy, here comes the cone heads. Okay. Uh, when the other zombies come in, you're gonna take in. They're gonna take in a lot more hits than the regular ones. So you probably already knew that, but it's it's gonna be really stressful. Faster now. Uh, that kind of worked out. Okay, I'm gonna leave you. Yeah, did it. Kind of. I lost all my lawn mowers, though. I should have used the Grave Buster more often. I shouldn't have just regulated it to just being the hammer and stuff. Dang, I, I should have used the Grave Buster. Anyways, we, we're, we did it. We, we passed it and stuff. It's good. The Hypno Shroom. My other favorite plant. Makes a zombie fight for you. Oh yeah, that's the coolest concept that I've ever heard, man. Hey, you want an extra seat slot? It costs you seven fifty, but you won't. Will, yeah. Dave, stop asking me about that. No, I'm not gonna get the slot. Greedy freaking old man. Oh man. It's the gosh darn football zombie. Uh, okay. Maybe I can slow him down with the ice pee or something. I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is gonna suck. I'm gonna prioritize the potato mine. Okay, there's not that many graves, I hope. Oh, God. I'm gonna make two rows of sunflowers and stuff. Uh. Oh god. <laughs> I made a mistake. I made a mistake. We're coming. Rains. Oh 
Good God. I, oh God. I made a mistake. I made a complete mistake. This isn't good. Oh no. Jeebus, this sucks. This absolutely sucks. I, sh I should have done this in the beginning. I should have done this in the beginning, man. Gosh dang it. Well, this freaking sucks. I'm gonna lose a lawnmower. Gah. God dang it, I'm gonna lose a lawnmower. Oh, God. <laughs> save up for a cherry bomb. What the heck. Oh god, this sucks, man. This sucks! Good lord, this sucks. Okay, come on, give me a cherry bomb. I, I need one. <laughs> Good lord, does this suck. Good lord, this sucks! This sucks! Okay. Okay, I, I can't do it. Oh, good lord, this sucks. Goodness freaking gracious. Give me a gosh darn cherry bomb. I'm not gonna get a cherry bomb. Well, this freaking sucks. Dang it. I lost. God. when you die <laughs> anyways that's it for episode two everybody I'll go and get the achievement in my own time uh, I hope you had a good time I certainly did even though I lost so yeah this was plants vs zombies and I hope you have a good day this is metal silver signing off don't lose your brains. <laughs>